afraid of dying in this land. I can shout when friends are crying. It is grand. It is grand. All the world is dark as night, but my father's face is bright. And I'm walking in the light in this land, in this land. The children prayed, the preacher preached, time and mercy are out of your reach. You didn't have much, you didn't have, um, not many people had cars. You had all dirt roads to run on, no, no black top. You just about raised what you ate. Leave it cold. When mom was growing up to hear her tell it, you went to church to have, you know, you were anxious to get to go because it was a, it was an activity. You got to socialize finally, mm -hmm. you know. When I singing every second Sunday afternoon. That was the first singing that I ever heard was uh, uh, on a non accompanied uh, singing in, in the old Primitive Baptist Church. I like singing better than I do music, and uh, I guess maybe because it might have been the first way I heard it, and it, uh, it affected me, that kind of singing, even from three or four year old, years old on up. Oh, 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 dear. I'd actually rather sing, I call it a cappella, you know, that's uh, not using any music at all. It's hard to keep on key, but... Uh, I'd actually rather do that as to as to use instrument. Well, I spoke hands taking hold of me. Well, I am death. None can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. Church house Sunday morning. I've been interested in this kind of music since I was a little boy. Welcome there. I used to listen to the Grand Ole Opry on the radio. Uh, my daddy would listen to it, and I would be hanging around the radio listening to it too. Fit up his voice in prayer. Steer me on the righteous pathway. Our granddaughter Annie McGee was born. I used to sit in my rocking chair and rock her and sing that song. Rather than a lullaby, I would sing, Let Me Walk, Lord. I don't know why. Let me walk, Lord, by your side. There's some kind of a deep feeling of, of home that has to do with the music, and for me, old time mountain music and bluegrass evoke that feeling. Oh, bear my longing heart to Him. But I started singing when I was very small. I was four years old. for me. My grandma Whitlock was 92 years old, and she'd get me to sing for and I remember her in the, my, her lap, and she'd sing, and Jesus will take us in his arms by and by. And then I'd sing with her, and then she'd shout. Oh, come, angel man, come and around me stay.
people went to shouting, shouting. And they, somebody come up and got saved. And they was praying, shouting, singing, all at the same time. And my husband always said all of that was decent and in order. <laughs> I can sing and shout and pray and be happy night and day. When you can sing without music, it's almost like you can tell a testimony through that song. In this land, in this land. If you feel the music, then you can reach down inside of yourself and sing it like you feel it. I think you can put more feeling into it if you don't have, if you don't hear the music to, to mess you up. You may start out without music or without any spirit, but before you finish, the Spirit's going to get into it. Steer me on the righteous pathway. But a mountain soul is what I call it and, and what it feels like to me. Most of the time the church is totally quiet. It's such a overwhelming spirit. When the singer comes, you don't ever want to settle for anything less. You want him to come every time you get up to sing, and it gives me cold chills just to talk about it. When Jesus was around you on this land, I like that kind of singing. To his father's command. I just rather do it, and it seemed like I just I had a calling more to do that. He came to draw men unto him. Now, you know, if you're singing, of course, a rap song or you know, a pop song or something like that. You can get, I can get down with them, but it's not a spiritual thing, you know. Today, with all the technology we have, people feel removed from a lot of, of what we consider our roots. The world is just getting bigger. Kids are, it takes different things to, to catch those younger kids, I mean, to reach them. To reach them. So you have, the music is having to change with the children. We have more to do. Children have more to do now than they did back when you go to sing in Sunday afternoon to go to church. Often things are depersonalized, I think, because of the technology today. And this music somehow evokes a feeling of home, a feeling of, of friendship, a feeling of, of something real, something very real.